The 12 Most Controversial and Shocking Facts About Karl Lagerfeld Karl Otto Lagerfeld, a titan of the fashion industry, was as renowned for his transformative work at Chanel and other luxury brands as he was for his sharp wit and controversial remarks. Lagerfeld, who was born in Hamburg, Germany, in 1933 and passed away in February 2019, left behind a legacy that is as much marked by brilliance as it is by scandal. Here are 12 facts about Lagerfeld that continue to provoke, shock, and fascinate. Fact number 1. The mystery of his birth year. Karl Lagerfeld's birth year was a subject of his own myth-making. He often claimed to have been born in 1938 to Elizabeth of Germany and Otto Ludwig Lagerfeld from Sweden. However, this narrative was part of Lagerfeld's larger-than-life persona. In reality, Lagerfeld was born on September 10, 1933, in Hamburg, Germany, to Elizabeth Ballmann and Otto Lagerfeld. His father was a successful businessman with no Swedish connection, and his mother was not known as Elizabeth of Germany. Lagerfeld's penchant for obscuring his age and origins was a testament to his flair for creating an air of mystery around his personal and public life. This misrepresentation was publicly corrected when Hamburg's baptismal records and a birth announcement published by his parents in 1933 confirmed his actual birth year. Number 2. The Schuppet Saga. Schuppet, Lagerfeld's beloved Berman cat, lived a life that most humans could only dream of. Acquired in 2011, Schuppet had her own dedicated staff, including maids, a personal chef, and a bodyguard to cater to her every whim. Lagerfeld didn't shy away from lavishing her with attention and luxury, famously noting that he would marry Chappet if it were legally permissible. Her opulent lifestyle was well documented on social media and in interviews, with Lagerfeld stating that Chappet was a heiress to his fortune. This deep affection for his pet showcased Lagerfeld's unique character and his seamless integration of personal eccentricities with his public image. Number 3. The Diet Coke Obsession. Karl Lagerfeld's fascination with Diet Coke was legendary. He was known to consume up to 10 cans of the beverage daily, a habit he maintained for years. Lagerfeld's insistence on drinking Diet Coke from a crystal goblet added an extra layer of flair to this quirk. This habit underscored his dedication to a particular lifestyle and aesthetic, aligning with his broader views on personal image and health. Lagerfeld's Diet Coke obsession became a notable aspect of his public persona, reflecting his commitment to maintaining control over his image and personal habits. Number 4. Reinventing Chanel. When Lagerfeld took the helm of Chanel in 1983, the brand was perceived as stagnant and in need of rejuvenation. Through his visionary leadership, Lagerfeld infused the brand with modernity, edge, and sex appeal, significantly boosting its image and profitability. His designs respected Chanel's heritage while pushing its boundaries, effectively repositioning the brand at the forefront of luxury fashion. Lagerfeld's tenure at Chanel was marked by groundbreaking campaigns, innovative designs, and a reinvigoration of the brand's core identity, confirming his status as a revolutionary force in the fashion industry. His work at Chanel is celebrated for its creativity and impact, leaving an indelible mark on the world of fashion and beyond. Number 5. The Feud with Yves Saint Laurent The rivalry between Karl Lagerfeld and Yves Saint Laurent has its roots in the vibrant Parisian fashion scene of the 1950s and 1960s. Both designers started as friends and colleagues, with their relationship beginning at the International Wool Secretariat competition in 1954, where they both won awards. However, as they rose to prominence in the fashion industry, their paths diverged, leading to professional and personal animosities. Lagerfeld, known for his work with Chanel, and Saint Laurent, who founded his own haute couture house, found themselves at odds over their differing aesthetics and visions for fashion. Their rivalry was exacerbated by Lagerfeld's acerbic comments about Saint Laurent and his partner, Pierre Berga. Lagerfeld was quoted disparaging Saint Laurent's designs and lifestyle, contributing to the lore of their feud. This rivalry highlighted the intense competition within the fashion industry and the clash of titans it could produce. Number 6. His Stance on Fur Karl Lagerfeld's stance on fur in fashion was unapologetically traditionalist, despite the growing ethical concerns regarding animal rights. 
He was known for his assertion that hunting is part of the circle of life, defending the use of fur in fashion as a continuation of this natural process. Lagerfeld criticized animal rights activists for what he saw as their narrow focus on the fashion industry, arguing that there were other, more significant forms of animal cruelty that went unaddressed. His defense of fur emphasized his commitment to maintaining the luxury and opulence traditionally associated with high fashion, even as societal values shifted towards greater ethical consideration for animals. Number 7. The Library Obsession. Karl Lagerfeld's passion for books was monumental, with a collection that eventually exceeded 300,000 volumes. This love for literature extended beyond mere accumulation, Lagerfeld opened a bookstore in Paris, 7L, located on Rue de Lille, which became a hub for those passionate about art, architecture, and design. His personal library, meticulously organized and sprawling, was a testament to his belief in the importance of historical knowledge and intellectual curiosity. Lagerfeld's extensive collection of books was not just a source of inspiration for his fashion designs but also a reflection of his wide-ranging interests and deep reverence for culture and history. Number 8. Significant Weight Loss In 2001, Karl Lagerfeld underwent a dramatic weight loss, shedding 42 kilograms, about 92 pounds, in just over a year. Motivated by his desire to fit into the slim silhouettes designed by Hedy Slimane, then a Dior um, Lagerfeld embarked on a strict diet regimen. This transformation was so pivotal that he chronicled the experience in the Karl Lagerfeld diet, co-written with his dietitian, Dr. Jean-Claude Houdret. The book outlines the low-calorie diet that facilitated his weight loss, emphasizing Lagerfeld's dedication to achieving his fashion-forward aesthetic ideal. This period in Lagerfeld's life highlighted his willingness to undergo significant personal changes to align his appearance with his evolving fashion sensibilities. Number 9. Controversial Use of Quranic Verses In 1994, Lagerfeld inadvertently caused a significant uproar when he included Quranic verses in his Chanel Spring collection. This move was seen as deeply disrespectful by many in the Islamic community, leading to a public apology from Chanel and the destruction of the dresses in question. Number 10. Relationship with Jacques de Bacher. Karl Lagerfeld and Jacques de Bacher's relationship was one of the most talked about aspects of Lagerfeld's personal life. De Bacher was known for his flamboyant lifestyle and, despite his numerous affairs, shared a deep bond with Lagerfeld from the 1970s until de Bacher's untimely death in 1989 from AIDS-related complications. Lagerfeld has described de Bacher as the opposite of me, emphasizing a relationship that was deeply intellectual and emotional rather than physical. This unique connection showcased Lagerfeld's capacity for deep, non-physical relationships, diverging from more traditional romantic bonds. Their relationship, characterized by its lack of physical intimacy, was nevertheless profound, with Lagerfeld often speaking about de Bacher with great affection and respect, highlighting the complexities of human relationships and the variety of forms love can take. Number 11. His Comments on Weight and Beauty Karl Lagerfeld's outspoken views on beauty standards, particularly regarding weight, often ignited controversy. His remark that nobody wants to see curvy women on the runway sparked significant backlash and contributed to ongoing discussions about body diversity and inclusivity in fashion. Lagerfeld's comments were seen as emblematic of the fashion industry's problematic beauty standards, which have long been criticized for promoting unhealthy body images. These statements drew criticism from body positivity advocates and underscored the need for a more inclusive approach to beauty in fashion. Lagerfeld's stance on this issue reflected broader debates within the industry about health, beauty standards, and the representation of diverse body types in fashion. Number 12. Old Age and Death. Karl Lagerfeld's later years were marked by continued professional success and public appearances, maintaining his iconic status in the fashion world. However, in January 2019, his health began to decline, leading to speculation when he missed Chanel's Haute Couture Spring Summer Show in Paris, a first in his decades-long tenure with the brand. Lagerfeld was admitted to the American Hospital of Paris in near Yves saint on February 18, 2019, and passed away the following day, February 19, at the age of 85. The cause of his death was not disclosed immediately, 
but it was later revealed that he died of pancreatic cancer. Lagerfeld's death marked the end of an era for the fashion industry, leaving behind a legacy of creativity, controversy, and unparalleled influence.